Good evening. Welcome to Grandma's Attic Music Review. I'm so happy to with, be with you this evening. It's fun and it's a thrill to be able to bring to you the music that I find all over Connecticut. Tonight, you're going to get really blown away. You're going to get a little uh, canine review, should we say. I first saw the um, leader of this band at a open mic that our sound man puts on out at the Moose Club. I saw him get up and actually play his harp and I was very impressed and then I found out that he plays the piano and the guitar and who knows what else but we'll find that out in the interview. But I was really impressed with that. He has pulled together a few musicians and he calls himself and them the Howling Dogs. I'd like you to help me welcome into your home the Howling Dogs. Thank you very much, Grandma. <laughs> All right, we're, um, I'm uh, Rennie and Roland and Donna, and we uh, do a few songs for you that we, uh, some of our favorites that uh, we do, kind of covers, I guess, old covers, you might say something. No. 
know how hard it is with me, baby. Sometimes I just can't stand myself. It takes a whole lot of medicine, dog. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're gonna, do this. We're gonna have little horns here now. We got Donna with her uh, with her baritone here, a uh, little bit here. This is my baby. Yep. Been baby. in the closet for how many years? <laughs> We're not gonna say how many, but <laughs> she got it out of the closet for the Holland Dogs. It's so cool, you know. St. James Infirmary. Actually, uh, Art Neville song. 
Jeff Neville Brothers is one of the early songs that he did. Kind of cool. Okay, get those brushes out. That's cool. <laughs> Uh-huh, chadookie-doo, uh-huh, chadookie-doo, I love you, I love you, yes, indeed, oh, baby, I love you, yeah, I love you, does indeed, well, you know that I love you and I need you, too, I'm gonna spend my whole life with you, uh-huh, Chidooky-doo, uh-huh, chidooky-doo, I need you, I need you, yes, indeed, oh, baby, I need you, I need you, yes, indeed, well, your mama done told you, and your papa, too, I'm gonna spend my whole life with you, uh-huh. Kind of learned that one recently. Very cool. All right. Oh, we got. Oh, what's the guy coming now? I think I hear a train coming. I hear that train coming. Right? Okay. Uh, let me see. Let's put that one down. Well, you guys can start that train anytime you want. I think yeah, it's gonna. I'm putting my put my ears on the tracks here. Okay. It's down. Yeah. Providence, I think. Right down here in New yeah, London. All aboard for the night train. Ooh, is that what it yeah. Is? Night train. Oh, yeah. We have fun on that train, don't we? Yeah. I gotta find my ride.
Yeah, that's all right, Jerry. <laughs> that was fun. All right, let's see. I'm going to get up and do a couple guitar songs now. For uh, uh, We'll do one of the, we're going to do uh, a new one. This is kind of new for the Howling Dogs, but we like it. We're going to try to do it. Talk to them while I get my That's okay. guitar set up, all right? Tell them something. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do a couple of things. You're going to appreciate it. On the guitar. I was just, I was telling, uh, I was telling Grandma earlier that it's coincidental we, that we're doing every song in a different key. <laughs> so I'm changing my harps on every key here. I haven't changed my key. Oh, you didn't? Oh, <laughs> I thought you had to retune those drums every time, no? <laughs> okay. So. This is for all you Duke Ellington fans. Oh, you know what this is? This is oh, I know what this is. It don't mean a thing. Well, we changed it. It don't mean a thing. Right. Oh, okay. Go ahead, tell him again. I just said this is for all you Duke Ellington fans. Oh, yeah, Duke Ellington wrote this. That's right. No difference if that music's sweet or hot. Just give that music everything you got. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. Do up, 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 do up. It don't mean a thing. All you got to do is sing. Do up, 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 do up. Thing. 
Before our day. I'm a caveman, feeling like a slave man. This rock is knocking me down. Someone help me, someone tell me.
That was fun. Okay, yes, we are done with our little first set. Is that? That's your first set. Well, whatever you call that. You can yeah. do it. You can do it a couple more if you want. Well, I got all kinds. Of, I got all kinds of time for you guys to play. Okay. I'd much prefer you guys playing to me talking. Uh, okay. Well, we could play more, but uh, we could play some more. But uh, did, did we go the right amount of time, or was that? No, but that's okay. We'll talk for a little while, and then you can take us out until the credits roll. Sounds great. That sounds, sounds wonderful. Okay. That's awesome. So, Rennie, it's wonderful to have you on the show. Oh, thank you. I, was, um, I wasn't introduced to you by my friend Raker. I actually <laughs> saw you play when I brought Raker to an open mic. I remember that. And um, you actually blew me away. How many instruments do you actually <laughs> play? Well, I, pro I only play um, guitar and piano mostly and harmonica. This is the three I mainly play. I do play some other instruments, but I, I mess around with a lot of instruments. You know, I mean, I, I, violin, I, cello. Uh, not violin. I, 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 you a own bit, them. I, but I, I play like a, a auto harp and I nice. know, a few other things, yeah. Nice. Um, dulcimer. Nice. You know, things like that. But where, do you, where do you get your musical background from? My musical background um, started when I was real young around the house. My mother um, sang and played piano, and my family all played music um, almost every day Okay. Uh, in North Stonington. Mm -hmm. And uh, then when I moved, uh, the, you know, I sang, the, sang you know, did choirs and stuff. And then uh, I went to uh, Alaska when I was uh, 18 and lived up there for uh, 15 or 18 years, whatever it was. How and, was that? Uh, so I just got in, and I dove into music. You know, I was going to... I went to school up there and do did other things. But anyway, there I got into music pretty, uh, started performing up there more. The yeah. culture is a little different in Alaska than it is here in New England. How, yeah. How's the music culture up there? Great. It's great. It's uh, the nice thing you think. Uh, um, the nice thing, in the summer there's a lot of, you know, just stuff going on. But in the, um, in the winter, the coolest thing is like when it's really cold all winter and everybody's cold. There's a lot of house music. Everybody gets together and plays music in their houses. There's a lot right. of bluegrass and stuff. A lot like of that. dark. Yeah, well, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's <laughs> dark, but with the snow and the, uh, the you know, and the, and the uh, stars lighten up things at night. So it's nice. But, yeah, it's nice. So where did you decide? What made you decide to put together this band, <laughs> the Howling Dogs? Well, no, Rolly, you could probably say that as well. I'll ask him. Okay. I'll, I'll ask uh, him the, too. The, I remember going to the VFW. I've never been to an open mic in my life, okay, until last year. Okay. I started going to the VFW open mic for a little bit. And wow, this music, I'd jump up on it and sing in harmony and stuff like that sometimes. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have sometimes, but I, I was impulsive doing that. But anyway, um, there's, you know, I was seeing some different music. I met Roly there, and he said, uh, Roland says to me, uh, I, you know, I play sax. I said, oh, man, we're going to get together. Well, he was just. Um, wind, well, I think it was just winding down another uh, band that he was in. and uh, So then one day, we just got together one day, and ever since that day, we've been playing together every, um, every week, at least once a week, twice a week, for the last almost a year now. Nice. Last summer, yeah. Now, where are some of the places that you can be seen? Well, let's see. Right now, I'm not great at going out and booking jobs like I should be, but uh, we're playing at um, uh, the Brick and Basil uh, I saw that. Pizza, which is a great outdoor venue. Um, it's a great place and good food. But um, they um, we're playing there every month until you know fall, once a mm -hmm. month. And then we're playing in at the Tapped Apple uh, Winery in Westerly, and that's uh, once a month. Uh, you know, once a month. Um, Hank's Dairy Bar coming up. Yes. What else? Sprague? Yes. Sprague. Sprague's um, Festival. A couple of something else there. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we're, we're looking for more gigs to do. And, uh, do you have a website or a yes, Facebook we have, uh, presence? Yeah, Rennie Chapman on Facebook or um, Howling Dogs, either one. You can find they can find you on on Facebook. So you can find them on Facebook, Oops. on um, under Rennie Chapman or under the Howling Dogs. I'm going to move on with this <laughs> interview. I'll be back to you. All right. So think of some good answers. <laughs> okay. You don't know the questions. Just <laughs> think of some good answers. How are you, my friend? Fine, fine. It's uh, nice to see you. It's great. I met her three or four years ago. Weren't, you, weren't you with? Um, you were. At, you showed up at my house. Yes. With who did you come to my house with? With my wife and the kids. And oh, that's right. You that's right. You put out ice cream, right? Yeah. That's right. That that's would. Right. Yes, I yeah, remember you that. You were putting now. the ice cream out. That's I right. I remember that. Yeah. That was that was up in Norwich. Yes. 
Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I remember that. And you said something to me. We were at Jeff Matson's party, and you reminded me of who you were. And I was yeah. like, why can't I remember where I know him from? I know he says he was at my house. Because I didn't have the horn with me. Right, 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 <laughs> right. right. When did you start playing saxophone? I was about Rolling. eight years old. So in the school band? Yes. In and the marching band, the concert band. Mm -hmm. Was it your first choice of instruments? Yes, it was, because I went to a wedding, and I heard the sound of the saxophone, and I said, that's the instrument I want to learn. And there was a lot of four chicks around the saxophone, yeah. you know, <laughs> and uh, a girl. Do, do you find that saxophone <laughs> is a chick magnet? They can all be chick magnets. All these instruments can be. <laughs> You're right about that. I think that, sax. I think that musicians as a whole are chick magnets, so... Yeah. We'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Don. I won't or forget like about you. <laughs> uh. what's, what's the favorite part of yours about playing music? What, what is it that makes you continue to play music, Roland? If I see smiles on people's faces, and they're dancing, or they're happy tapping their feet, their fingers, that makes me happy. Right? That's, That's right. true. That's, That's true. Right. So that makes you to continue to play. I saw you pick up another instrument. When did you start playing the trumpet? About 20 years ago, I helped a friend learn how to play the trumpet. Did you teach yourself how to play the trumpet? Uh, both of us, we would both learn how to play it. Together? Together. together. Yeah. Without, a, without a teacher? Went down to my mother's basement, and we grabbed the horns and grabbed the books and started. Nice. Yes. That's wonderful. I guess if you already know how to read music, then the rest is pretty simple. Yes, it helps, yeah. Nice. Now, do you do anything with your music besides play with the Howling Dogs right now? I go to jams. You do? Yeah, sure, I go to jams. What are some of the jams that you go to that people can see you do your thing at? Well, we go to the VFW uh -huh. in uh, Preston. Yep, that's a great jam. And the Moose. That's, yep, uh, that's Jeff Basra. Matson's, that's Jeff right. Matson's um, gig. And I've been at uh, Katie's. And uh, Rhode Island. Nice. Great place. Great blues place. Yes. Really? Yes. Do you like playing the blues? I love the blues. I love the blues I have too. All the time. <laughs> right? Do you yeah. really? Yes. Not really, Rowan. I got the blues all the time. I see. I see a smile on your face every time I see you. So I can't believe yeah. you got the blues. Well, those are good blues. Good blues. <laughs> yeah. There's a difference. There's a difference. Okay, I'm gonna kind of back up here, if I can, without falling down. Hi, Donna. Hello. Get yourself right into that mic. Pull it right in, pull it right into you. How's that? That's, That's good. good. How are I, you? I'm well. So I can exhale now. Yes, you we can. got through a few songs and, you know, we're fine. You did a great job. Thanks. How long have you been playing the drums? Uh, two and a half years. Wow. That's not very long. No. No, it's not. Um, it's something I always wanted to do. Did you play the baritone first? I played baritone and trumpet growing up. Growing up? Yeah, that's what I played, you know, when I was eight years old in the band, trumpet, baritone. Always wanted to play the drums, always wanted to play the drums, and my parents, no. They, they said, you're going to play the trumpet. What made, I was just going to say, what made you pick up the trumpet? B because my cousin had an extra one, and they said, your, your cousin has an extra trumpet, you're playing the trumpet. So just like that, I had to take trumpet <laughs> lessons. I always wanted to play the drums. So a couple years ago, being a fully formed adult, I decided <laughs> to... I'm gonna t I'm gonna get, take lessons and see what happens. So you, so you feel like you're all grown up now. Some days, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, because I'm not there yet, so <laughs> I'll let you know. Now, what about the baritone? Tell us a little bit about uh, how I, you got into that. I love. Well, that's it's a, it's an interesting story. I started playing the trumpet. You know, in, in elementary school, junior high school, get to junior high school, you play the trumpet in the band. And I was never like a great trumpet player, uh, very average. But the band instructor needed baritones. Okay. And he said. Uh, if you play baritone, I'll give you a higher grade. So I said, I'll do it. So I'm in. Just, I'm like, in. just like that, I went from a C student to a B student. And I played the baritone, but I actually, I, I love this instrument. But I hadn't played it in so many years since I graduated high school. And uh, it wasn't until I went to Rennie's place to play drums. You know, he asked me to kind of accompany them. He has all these instruments on his walls. Right. And he had a trumpet on his wall and a baritone on his wall, believe it or not. And I said, I, I've played those instruments, and just for fun, I just picked them up and started playing, and nice. the, these guys won't let me put them down now. That's a good thing. It, you know what? It is because, it, it, talk about growing up, 
um, back in the band, I, I was very self-conscious. I wasn't a great trumpet or baritone player. The guys around me were so much better, and you just didn't. I didn't. I didn't feel comfortable playing other than with the whole band around. Right. But this is different because now this is, it's really about the song. And that's always been about the song. It's never been about, you know, myself, yourself. So when you honor the song with an instrument, it's, uh, you know, I can't believe I, I'm playing this instrument in, in public, you know, with well, I nothing think it's, else. I think it's wonderful. And for me, just, just to kind of top that, for me, it's always been all about the music. It's never about me or the show. It's always about the musicians and the music that they put forth, whether it's originals or covers like you guys did today. Now, I'm going to probably go back over and ask him, but do you have any say in what goes on in this band being the female drummer? No, I well, first of all, gender is not really an issue, and if it, it does become an issue, <laughs> and if it does become an issue, I put my foot down pretty quickly. Good girl. Didn't you yeah. have three brothers or something? I, I grew up with brothers, so there's no, um, we don't mess around with nice. that. Okay? I like that. That's I'm a good thing. I'm just the drummer. I'm just the drummer. Nice. Okay. Uh, nice. But but besides that, no, I mean I I kind of like the music that they're playing. I you know I'm a I'm a throwback to the old jazz, the old blues, that kind of stuff, and mm -hmm. it's it's, uh, I mean I'll play anything to play. Right. But um, I like that attitude. Because I'll just play because I've only been playing two and a half years. So you play what you can just to keep going, just to keep right. going. And you learn. But um, this is kind of a, a fun, you know, to be able to play a little Duke Ellington. I mean, that's wonderful. Duke Ellington is awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And when we go back that far, we're keeping we're keeping that music alive. Mm -hmm. And it's so important for us to bring in the old jazz mm -hmm. and the old blues and the old swing that comes from that era, it's so important for us to keep that stuff alive for the kids to hear today. Um, I just think that what you're doing with that is amazing and incredible, and thank you for doing that. And thank you for playing not just the drums, but picking up your baritone and bringing it out here and showing the kids that there's so much that music can do for you, so much that music can bring. I appreciate that. Now I'm gonna go back up here it was a great surprise for us when she when she pulled you know pulled that horn off the wall and started playing it and rock and roll and been hoping for a trumpet player for a long time so he was in ecstasy over that you know that's and nice, that's nice yeah. so she's been Donna's only been with us for about I don't know, a month a little more than a month a couple six weeks I don't want to block weeks. her yeah I don't want to block her time, yeah. so tell me now any of you all you all have your own mic so chime in whenever you want <coughs> who chooses the songs that you do. Okay, well, I don't, I, I don't, and he's already set with this. I just really honestly came in and it's like, whatever you want to play, I'm f fine with. But I did, but you, you consulted on, on what we're doing today here, though, but, um, t you know, right? I mean, we talked Right, well, that. like the St. James, that's what we played yeah. the baritone on. They let me, I said, hey, Let's you know, one, let yeah. me try to baritone on this. So within the right. song, you know, we, we do different things. Yes. But, well, Roland and I, well, we've been playing together for about um, 10 months or so, and we would, um, we get together and we just throw stuff against the wall. And we hardly ever play a whole song. We just do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. And if we, if something is something we both like, then we do it. We do you know, rock and stuff, too, a lot of, you know, and folky stuff, or whatever. But if we both like the song, uh, we usually we usually end up doing it. And, you know, we've got a pretty big, pretty um, pretty big repertoire. You know, for a sh a, you know, and plus he's got you know both of us have a long history of music, so. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, you can throw any blues or country song out, and, right? you know, if you know the... Right, right, right. With the blues, you can pretty much, if you know the blues, yeah. you can play you the blues. You know the song. You know the song. It's yeah. all about the, like I said, it's all about the song, and even these old jazz songs, they, um, we're, I'm not a jazz musician, but there's some great jazz songs that I love, and these are a few of them. Right. Well, a, well, well, a couple we did today are those songs. Jazz is know. the American roots of music. Yeah. I, yeah. I can't even begin to say anything other than that, but... Who chooses the songs that you decide I make, I that you're going to try? List. Well, I make up a set list, but so all we, just, we all do. We all get, three yeah, of us. Okay. We just bang, okay. we just bang there songs. There you go. Yeah. Okay. We, all do. Right we all do. Well, now that we've got a bunch of songs, we try to rehearse some songs sometimes. But okay. oh, we'll say, hey, let's do a little bit of that one, and we'll do a little bit. We hardly ever play a whole song. I learned that from my mother and my uncle because they had a band for all years right. and years. All right. And they would all talk about different songs that they wanted to do. Okay. I was a little, little guy. Yeah. A little guy, but I was right. listening. Yeah. Okay. 
That's awesome. Or you know, or you know, when we're playing out, I mean, Roland could yell out a song to do, and maybe we've done it before. Or I might try some. I might. We might, sometimes we'll do stuff that we've never done. You know, um, but usually it's stuff. You know, we throw a few in like that sometimes. If someone, you know, you, you see someone, you think some song might go good. You know. You, even though you haven't practiced it, yeah, uh, we you know, for lives. It depends on the place you're playing to. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, but we, you know, we just we we um, we just agree on certain songs. If I don't, if he doesn't like a song, we won't do it. If I don't like a song, we won't if it's do not it. fun, we won't do yeah. it. <laughs> uh, I'm, not <laughs> okay. gonna sing, I'm not gonna sing a song I don't like, and he sings several songs. Yeah. He didn't sing any here, but maybe we'll do one. Um, that would be fun. Yeah, we'll have you sing one one of your songs next, and then we'll do that. One. We can do two, right? Yeah, you can. One. I think um, there's plenty of time for them okay. to do well, two we'll songs. Um, Okay, so this is a final question, and each one of you can give your own answer. Who are your baseline musical influences? If you say your mom and dad, that's okay, but I mean, no, no, no. for famous people that have actually influenced Influence me the your, most. Yeah, I think the biggest it has to be Bob Dylan. I don't. I used to know. I mean, I'm known. I loved Bob Dylan, and I got to see him at the Newport Folk Festival in mm -hmm. 1967. I was 15 years old, and I went to the Folk nice. Festival and stayed over. And I saw him and nice. all the others there. But um, so I was really turned on to him at a young age. I just loved his songwriting and everything. You know, just you know. So I mean, he was a big. And um, Hank Williams was actually a very big influence on me. He was a songwriter and uh -huh. uh, uh, let's see, I don't know. There was uh, so many. Well. So many, you? yes. Well, I was always into the saxophone, trumpets, trombone, right. the right. horns, and everything. Absolutely. And James Brown oh. did it for me. James Brown. Yes. When he came out with the flames, that was it. Rarely, I <laughs> yes. have to tell you, rarely do we have someone say that James Brown is oh. one of their early. He's got to be one of my great. top yeah. he's, five or he's six awesome. too. Yes. Awesome. What a great, yes. what a great yes. name to bring up. And you, Miss Donna? Well, I, I grew up with Motown. I love anything Motown, r &B. Nice. That's just, that's what we grew up with. But I think the earliest, the earliest influence is what my parents had on their um, stereo. On and their that turntables. Was, that was Sinatra, that was Nat King Cole, that was Ella Fitzgerald, that was Peggy Lee, mm. that was jazz and American standards. And all of that stuff is, is what I, I really like. Nice. That's awesome. Well, I really want to hear more music. Mm -hmm. I am done interviewing. I'm going to get off the set, and I'm going to let you guys take us out. Keep playing until the credits finish rolling. All right. Where are okay? the credits? How will You'll we see them. We'll know? Okay. Yep. <laughs> I, don't, I need to get out of here. All right, we're I've got to go this way. And we, we have a couple friends that come up and sing with us sometimes. One is Shelly here, and she's going to come up and do a so couple, maybe one or two. We'll do a couple songs yeah. together. Shelly will come up and help us out. Comes to our gigs. I guess she's kind of a groupie. <laughs> we'll do fun with child, okay? Sure.
Sometimes I feel like I'm almost on. Sometimes I feel like I'm almost on. Sometimes I feel like I'm. I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes oh, I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes oh, I feel like a mother. Thank you. Thank you.